Howdy and welcome to Daily Miles. Today I'm doing my driver's side mount, so let's get into it. Got my battery terminals undone. Now I can just take this right out. Alright, battery box coming out. This is my engine mount, all unmounted. Oh, God. Ah, there it is. There's the new mount. Let's put it in there. Engine mount in and all buttoned up. All right, so we're all buttoned up. Right there, everything's back in. Let's turn it on and hope that it doesn't shut her to death. I did everything right. This is where it gets dicey. It usually gets dicey right here. Wow. 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 I call that a success. Today, I am cleaning my mass airflow sensor. That's this guy right here, that sensor right there. And then we're gonna use this stuff. And all I have to do is like spray that in there for like, you know, five or 10 seconds. And that's it. And that, friends, is how you clean a mass airflow sensor. All right, so if I did what I'm supposed to do and sprayed that stuff where it's supposed to go, the engine should start up like that. There should be no check engine light. If there is, I have problems. No check engine light. And on today's agenda, we're going to remove my oil pump chain. But in order to get to it, that means I have to remove this guy, this guy, that guy, and the timing chain itself, which is embedded right here, the engine cover, which is there, and a whole bunch of other things that I am not looking forward to pulling apart and putting back together again. Yay, loads of fun. So, <clears throat> let's get into it. So I've got my valve cover off. That's that guy right there. And I've got my camshafts aligned at TDC. That's what this little tool is for. And my lobes are pointing in the right direction. Uh, and now I've just taken my water pump off, or at least the, the pulley for it, which is right here that guy and next I have to take off or at least just disconnect my power stump power steering pump I am going to remove my crankshaft pulley and the oil pump chain which I'll show you in just a second However, in order to do that, you have to isolate the camshafts, which is what you're looking at right here, and you'll notice this little blue bar. It prevents the camshafts from moving, which is attached to your timing chain. That timing chain goes behind this, this cover, which, is, which I'll, uh, I'll show you in just a second, and that timing chain is attached to my crankshaft pulley, and that's this guy right here. So behind the engine cover is that timing chain, and that crankshaft uh, the timing chain is sitting literally right here. 
So in order to take this off, I have to isolate the motion for that, for that uh, crankshaft pulley and the camshafts so that it doesn't move in any way, shape, or form. The reason why I'm pointing this out to you is that when Christopher did his repair, he did not do this. And, it, and the Ford manual specifies that you absolutely have to isolate the camshafts and the crankshaft pulley from motioning in any way, shape, or form to prevent damage. He didn't do this. That's bad. <clears throat> All right, so the thing I wanted to point out to you is that when I was in there the last time, I didn't see this guy. This is the oil chain tensioner, and this is the oil chain. I didn't put this in because I didn't think that I needed to. And the engine cover. There it is. My engine cover, all off. Yay, and there was much rejoicing. All right, now comes the moment of truth. All right, let's take a look at this. Let's go from the top down. It's a little oily here and there. Okay. Ho ho! Okay, that was bad. Whole bunch of oil. Okay, there's the old chain. There's the new chain with the sprocket. And there's where it has to go. Well, after a little bit of fiddling with uh, the help of Mr. Alfonso over there, the extreme help of Mr. Alfonso over there, finally got this back in place the way that it should be. Apparently, Mr. Miles moved the camshafts out of the way and the crankshaft out of the way, just enough so that the, the chain didn't line up the way that it should have. So with a lot of help from Matt, thank you very much, Matt, uh, we got it back in place and now I'm just putting on the engine cover and then we're just buttoning, up, buttoning everything back up. So this is what happens when you over torque a bolt. It breaks, and unfortunately it breaks right there, that bolt hole. Yeah, oodles of fun. Yeah, that's not good. All right, there's the whole completed bolt. It's out. Now on to the rest of the job, which is I gotta put this in its place and hope to God that it fits. I got the crankshaft back on. I don't know if you can see that or not. The crankshaft pulley is back on uh, and got it back to top dead center. Uh, just did two revolutions, stuck the, stuck the blue bar back in and it, 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 it passed. So we are 100% certain that we are at TDC at this point. I screw it up at this point, my own shit. Okay, kitties. Just a few more pieces to button up and I think we're all done. Matt, this is the moment of truth. Can I get a copyright or something? <laughs> All right, here we go, kitties. If I did my job right, it should start right up. No issues. Have you met me? Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. We're not done yet. I forgot one tiny little detail. That guy right there on the battery. It doesn't need to be tight, does it? Not just so long. Okay. Here we go. Well, it started.
Not making any noise yet. Operative word in the sentence. Yet. It's, it's, it's still hissing. You can hear the hiss. It's got a. It's, it, I have to fix the PCB system. That's all there is to it. I don't know where it's coming from. Yeah. Okay. Here we go, kitties. So I have to put my my foot on the brake, put it in drive. Oops. And then load it. All right, so I'm gonna patch up with Matt and I just wanna uh, extend him a great and powerful thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Matt, for, mm -hmm. for hooking a brother up. Yep, yep. You have been the angel of saviors of saviors. So I have nothing but great things to say about you. So if you need some place to fix your, fix your vehicle in Palmi Palmyra? That's close. Okay. I'm, Butchering it. If you, if you need some place to fix your vehicle and you want to do the work yourself, Matt's your guy. Uh, even if you don't want to fix it yourself, he's still your guy. He's an amazing diagnostician and you know his shop is aces. So I got nothing but great things to say about him. Thank you very much, Matt. And I'm gonna get out of your hair what's left of it. So we're at the end of a very long journey. Starting up the vehicle. It sounds better than it did. Putting it in gear and backing out of the shop. Let's take it for a little spin. It's still there. Yeah, it's still there. <sighs> well, that was fun. It's still there. Well, kitties. Ah, uh, this is where I'm going to leave you. I have no idea what to do next. I'm out of options. That was my last shot. So. Well, it's been a couple of minutes since that happened. I've slept, eight. Yeah, things do not look good. So, I don't know what to do. I don't want to do anymore, and I'm out of money. So, that's it, the well is dry. I don't know what to do anymore. I want to uh, express a huge thank you to Matt uh, because without him and, and his shop, even though I didn't fully solve the problem, it's a little bit more solved than it was. I'm about 80% of the way there. This is a completely different noise that I'm hearing. Well, not completely different. It's the same noise. I just thought it was a continuation of the same noise. It's not. I'm, I was hearing two very distinct noises. And this one's a little harder to describe. 
So I'm gonna leave you there. I'm not gonna get into it. All right, uh, next steps. Um, deciding whether or not to either stay here in this parking lot for the foreseeable future or try to hop sketch, hop to uh, different towns to make my way west. Why am I making my way west? Because I have to go, um, I have to go back to California and renew my license. There you go. In the meantime, however, I have a lot of thinking to do. So I'm going to leave you right there, and I'll see you in the next video if there is one. Bye.